Hello comrades and welcome back to the Shanka show. First of all, I would like to thank you all my subscribers for your support and interest in comments. I really enjoy your questions and also I enjoy watching the channel growing. Apparently we have subscribers from all over the world including such countries like Saudi Arabia, Brazil, Australia. And by the way, if you're watching this show right now, please take a minute, take 30 seconds and put in comments the country of your residence. That'll be so great. And speaking of residence, Today I would like to talk to you guys about so-called prapiska or residence permit or registration for the residents. Uh, this system existed in Russian Empire prior to the revolution. It was a state system of controlling the migration of its population. So pretty much you like attached to the place where you live and if you want to move you need to get permission from the government from local officials and get registered uh, at the, your new location so initially it was cancelled after October Revolution but it was quickly restored through so-called labor books labor books was somewhat your work history, your work ID, so every worker in Soviet Union had this labor book where it kept the record of all his um, uh, places he worked. So Prapiska was restored again uh, in 1925 and you are, were required to register at your address with the local government. And since 1932 when passports were introduced in the entire Soviet Union and in the passport there was a stamp your propiska with the address where you registered uh, to live and all this system was controlled by NKVD which was like inner police uh, something similar to KGB but for the inside of the country it's sadly but I have to say that Prapiska, this residence permission, was really, really similar to Kripasnoya Prava or serfdom, where pretty much the Lord had the right to keep you in one place. It was especially bad for peasants, uh, for collective farm workers, because all the way till 1974, they didn't have passports. So they technically couldn't move without permission at all. The only way to leave the village would be to try to get in some college or join the military service and then join to officer school while you're in military service and that way you can get out of from your village. So since 1935 people actually had to ask for official permission to, uh, to move, to change their location, to buy a house, to get an apartment, buy a summer home or buy a garage. So government was totally in charge of people's lives. And it was going on all the way till 1991. So in 1974, uh, there was the law introduced that everyone in Soviet Union had to have a passport. Now, we're not talking about passport for traveling abroad. It was a passport to leave in the USSR. And um, that was the first time when peasants, as I mentioned, which were about 50 million people who before that uh, lived without any kind of ID since hardly anybody drove the cars and remember the story is about lot of car and a waiting list for nine years if you don't have a car you don't need a driver's license and the only other document for your id was passport so in 1974 everyone who turned 16 
had to apply and get the passport. And inside of your passport, besides your picture, then your uh, nationality was always a place where you have your propiska. There is a stamp and says that you are registered with local government and such and such address. And uh, it was very hard to get propiska in the big cities like Moscow, Leningrad, or Kiev. And it was really uh, hard sought for uh, places because life was much easier, much better quality of life in big cities. So we had a lot going on when uh, young girls from villages were trying to marry somebody from the big city to get propiska. And the system of propiskas still exists in former Soviet Union, in Russia and Ukraine. Uh, even it's now it's been used to the, under different name, but it's exactly the same idea. You need to be assigned to your apartment in order to have rights for that apartment. And uh, for example, since I moved to United States uh, in 1999, I had to cancel my propiska in Kiev, so my parents will pay less for their utilities since I didn't live there and a lot of the charges used to be not based on your electric meter or your gas meter or water meter but an amount of people that assigned or have a propiska in their apartment. Right now it's changing a little bit because now they have a gas meters like for natural gas and water meters but during the Soviet Union the only meter we had was electric meter. Uh, water was unlimited, natural gas was unlimited, you just paid some um, fixed amount of money every month regardless how much of water or natural gas you use. So because of the propiska, it was really hard for people to move freely in Soviet Union, so population generally wasn't that mobile. The only way you could move is if your services as an engineer or something like that were required in some factory far away and then the government will issue permission to change your location they will give you apartment since you couldn't buy the apartment um, you only have to wait in line just like for a car but the lines were longer um, for example usually people were waiting in Kiev from 10 to 20 years um, to get apartment. You get for free, but you had to wait for a long, long time. And it's actually, you didn't own the apartment, you just had the right to live in it. So if you decided to move on your own and you get permission to move, for example, from Kiev to Moscow, people had to do the exchange. And that was really funky because you could see ads in newspaper looking for exchange apartment in Kiev, uh, to apartment in Moscow and then of course since Moscow apartments were more valuable you have to change for example three room apartment in Kiev for two room apartment in Moscow or maybe quietly add some cash uh, in order to make the exchange so we didn't have U-Haul or any other moving companies because people just didn't move much So this is my story about Prapiska, the Soviet system of residence permit and residence registration. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you very much. Спасибо. Goodbye.